The following experiment is extremely dangerous and should never be attempted by anyone under any circumstances whatsoever. No matter how safe you think you're being, please do not attempt this experiment yourself. Hello and welcome to another episode of Microwave Me. It's summertime. That means it's time for barbecue. And I'm going to combine two of America's favorite pastimes, barbecue and microwave. And many times people have requested that I microwave fire, and I've requested in other microwave shows. Now usually what you get is a lit candle, a lit toothpick, a lit match. That's neat and all, but... That's not really microwaving fire, at least not in the sense of a flare-up like you get from microwaving an electronic. Now, microwaving fire means microwaving a pre-lit flare-up. In this case, it's going to be charcoal to help it get going. I'm going to add a little lighter fluid. All right, here we are. Now it's time to film. Get this show on the road. Remember what I said about retiring Jareth? Not gonna happen. You see, I couldn't find an affordable new microwave budget. So just like how Demi had to stick around for most of season three, Jareth's still in service. All right. There's the lighter fluid. Yep, that's right. They have microwave and charcoal and lighter fluid. Right, you wanted to see me microwave fire? Well, I'm gonna do it. chance it and do it by hand. that. Oh, there it is. I 
microwave fire. Alright, let's examine the post product. You can see the charcoal. Much lighter fluid did. Do I recommend microwaving fire at home? No, absolutely not. I mean, this didn't even do the coal show that everyone said it would. The embers did glow a little, but most of the coal show came from the momentum of it being pre-lit and didn't have enough to sustain it. it burned out real quickly. And because may actually work if you try it in your own microwave could kill you I'm going with deadly idea for this one 